Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Wow, it's getting so bad with their health care that they have to start selling their own stuff. Like, I hate American health care. What's the point in paying for insurance if you're not going to be able to help pay for most of the bills in return? Like, that's just ridiculous. Joyce is a food coupon boss. Bro, I love coupons. I love saving money. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. You, we can't take one? I want a cookie. So rude. Yo, he is stressed out. I can tell. I can really tell. I feel so bad. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Aww, that's so awesome. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. $8,587? That's basically a car loan, bro. These bills should all just say, Dear sir, you are screwed. <sighs> bro. Hello again, William. Nice to see you back. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. Mm. It's not fair, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. It is. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Look at him. He is such a nice, humble guy, like... All right, let me get back to Chloe. I bet she's like already dead with the amount of pain she has and the fact that I took dumb long. I feel so bad. I'm sorry, honey. Finally, uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy and painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust Stop me. Stop being so I negative, will. bro. Is it of working? Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Mm. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Okay, so I assume the photographs are right over... Ooh, wait. Let me see. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight-A student. She could have gone to any college. That's insane because the other Chloe just failed all her classes. So this is definitely a 180. Look at this. A, 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 A. She has an A in math. Yo, I need her as a tutor. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. As principal, I am in sympathy with your numerous requests for Chloe's special needs in regards to her wheelchair and class accessibility, etc. Blackwell prides itself on making sure students with disabilities receive full compliance under the Americans with Disability Act. However, given that the campus and buildings have all been constructed pre-1977, our school has yet has not yet undergone the modern rev rev sorry, renovations necess necessary to fulfill all the needs of your daughter and her regrettable condition. Sadly, with recent deplorable federal cuts in education, it will take many more fundraisers to fully update Blackwell Academy, but that day will come. Chloe is without doubt an amazing student with great potential despite her handicap, and I believe she would, have, she would find a more fitting, rewarding scholastic environment at the H. West 
Miskatonic Institute in Bolton. They have a rich legacy of disabled graduates, and I know that Chloe would achieve her usual academic leadership in more comfortable surroundings. With her outstanding GPA, there is no doubt that Ms. Ms. Katonic would welcome Chloe with open arms. I hope you will seriously consider this suggestion as I'm sure your daughter would prefer to attend a school that can cater to her many needs. In the same spirit, I've also enclosed brochures for other potential schools in the Oregon region. If you have any questions, please contact my office. Sincerely, Principal Wells. Fuck you. Y you know what, Max was right. I should have stole that money. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. Yes. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. That's cute. I love it. Yo, that school's a piece of shit. So Chloe has her own photo album. Okay, let's let's take this album. Chloe, I got the album for you, honey. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. It's not the same, though. Not without you. Oh, man. There we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Rewind time? Make a different change? Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. Oh, no. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? She's dying, Max. I'm She's dying. That being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes. Wait. I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. What? I'm not gonna kill you. What the fuck, Chloe? Max, do not do it. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. I could have sworn assisted suicide is illegal, but... To them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. Yes. You have to believe me, Chloe. Yes. Why? I'm Max? not gonna kill you. You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? 
Stop. So go and don't come back. It is not like that. I understand you're oh. upset, but I'm not gonna kill you. I am never leaving you again. Grab that picture. Rewind. I'm sorry, William. Yep. It was nice to see you again, William, but I'm not going to kill Chloe. Sorry. There you go. Let's go. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Jeez. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. I know it's hard. But I would rather go through this instead of watching Chloe. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. <sighs> Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Ooh, that really, I'm not gonna lie, that really got me crying. Thank God I'm back Chloe, to, to you're back. this again. Whoa, whoa, down Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. That is such an understatement. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. 
The fact that Chloe I don't think asked you can me ever tell Chloe about what happened. I mean, obviously I I won't blame you if you can't cuz that is some pretty heavy stuff that we both went through. Like the fact that Chloe asked me to kill her is so intense. That shit is so crazy. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Yeah, let's let's do that instead. My goodness. So close, yet so far away. So fucking trippy. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Cut it out. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to Dude. do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. No. Nope. Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be cool. careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I... <laughs> oh no. no, it's the bird. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. Where do you want? Where's the light? Hey, birdie. There you go. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna go and... Look. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. Alright, I'm gonna open up this window here. It's such a warm, beautiful day. How could a killer storm just pop up tomorrow? Tomorrow? Dead ass? That's crazy. I feel like we don't really have any more time than that. Fly. Be free. There you go. Alright, let me go downstairs and see what I can come up with. Ooh, awkward. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. Actually, I didn't do I anything. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Even you. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Hmm. So even with the fact that I had Joyce kick him out, he's still trying to look out for me. Looks like David already booked a room. At least it's not the Bates Motel. Uh, yo, yo, Max, your friend Chloe texted me that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. What the hell? Chloe actually texted you? I sure didn't have her number. At least I still get to go ape with you. Unless you want to chill with Chloe. Or we could all go. One pain in the ass is enough. Cool. I have to jet. Talk to you later. Hmm. Wow. That's interesting. Wait a minute. Hold on. What other text messages do I have? Uh, um... Anyways, I'll read all that later. Right now, I gotta go to the basement. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around.
You know what's really trippy, though? This is the same room that Chloe was in the other universe, where the bed was here along with her ventilators and everything. And this is, I bet this is where they turn into her own personal bathroom as well, like a shower space. I am just so glad I get to see Chloe. I wonder if David is going to the party. Of course he is, he's a security guard. But I'm just glad that we get to see Chloe all healthy again. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Mr. Matson, thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Best, Sheen Prescott. <laughs> Anyways. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. He's out there armed, obviously. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. I mean, for now. Oh, for that now. makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could, too. He is such a nice guy. I miss William, too. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Joyce, you know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overstep bounds with the surveillance and suspicion, and I am truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay I have never told you. You are my wife and partner, and I know we should have no secrets. I intended to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead, a student almost committed suicide on my watch. You kicked me out of my favorite home, and my stepdaughter hates me. All right. Oh, well. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Despite our rather heated discussion about the successful petition to block a campus surveillance system, I am still interested in your feedback on other methods of approving Blackwell security. We must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for our students. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. I didn't need a civilian's camera to see this suspension coming. Best of luck to you. At least he Ooh. has one weird fan. Dear Mr. Madsen, I just wanted to let you know I think it's bullshit what happened to you. And this school has too many lipped hard metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. Yo, this person is really sucking him off. I felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge, and I thought about you protecting me. I hope you will come back to Blackwell and make sure we are all safe at night. Shut the hell up! I wish I'm I had done. surveillance footage of that conversation. I apologize for my outburst yesterday in your office. I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts and based solely on the claims of untrustworthy students. There is a cancer at Blackwell Academy, and without me, it will continue to spread. Oh my god, bro. I can't stand some of these letters. They're so stupid. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. That's why he got that thank you letter. Wow, it makes sense. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David. What you hiding? I don't oh, even know the code. I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, I need to find a way to break this. Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move this plank if I want to take. This plank is good for nest protection, but bad for a nest photo. We're Excuse actually going to take a picture. Just one picture, please. Oh my god, I love this. All right. Oh, please don't make these little birds die like the others. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. She should work for Nat Geo. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy eggs. Adorable. All right. 
the hell is this? Ah, this is the door to... Okay. Yo, I forgot that he stockpiles food. Acting like the zombie apocalypse is about to happen in five seconds. Okay, so I don't... Hmm. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? I'll take this. Okay. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Yep, and then after I pry open the locker, I'll rewind time as if I've never done anything. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. There's nothing. I did all that for nothing. <gasps> Maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. She knows something. I am not reading all of this, sorry. <gasps> he took a picture of someone getting their ass beat but didn't bother to break the fight? Ooh. Wow, he took a picture of me. Okay. Weirdo. Score. Back to Chloe now. Yeah, let me on let me rewind, so there you go, see? And then I'll just put the crowbar back in its place. Or not, I guess I'll just carry it in my my little satchel. Because that's so normal for me to do. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Yo, Cut Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very she happy. Said, I hit the secret file low. jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. But I you just find said out how she's doing. He said to go to the dorm. Okay, let's go see Kate. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. True. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be Aww. it. Thanks, Quill. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no mm -hmm. idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. I accept your apologies. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Nice. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. All right, Max, open the door. Stop staring at it. Kate is chilling, look at her. And she's happier. I see her glow. Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. Don't be, I'm honey. I'm so sorry. Kate, Cut it out. You're good. Listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it? A stupid question if I ask how you're doing. Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. Aww. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. 
I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. This is why I you have such a good heart. Stuff. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while, but I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. <laughs> I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. Ew. And I believe she was being real. Me too. Wow. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.